Welcome everyone. Um, in today's video, we're going to be doing notifications, as you can tell. Um, this isn't going to be an in-game notification. So whenever, let's say you slay an enemy and you want a notification to pop up on the top, um, instead of doing it manually every time, we're going to make a function that will allow us to just put in some text and the notification will pop up and it'll be global. So you can call it from anywhere. So the first thing we're going to have to do is make the notification scene. So here I've just started off with a canvas layer and I've saved it as notif.scene. And let's add two things. We're gonna add a label and we're also gonna add a panel. So let's add a panel and I'm just gonna quickly kind of make it not look horrid. So let's go to the styles and change it up a little bit. Uh, I want the background to be, uh, let's do like a dark reddish. And then we'll also have a border, we'll do five, 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 five. But then for the border, we'll do, let's do like a weird color there. We'll blend it, cause why not? Um, but then let's actually make it 15. Oops. Oh my God, 15, 15, 15, there we go. Um, for the radius, yeah, sure, we'll do five. Okay, expand margins. We're not going to touch that shadow. Okay, I think that's it. For the corner details. Uh, you know, we'll leave as eight. Okay, I think that's good. That's good enough. Okay, now let's take our label and move on top of our panel. Let's actually make our panel slightly bigger. So this panel will not be resizing, by the way. If you want to learn about resizing a panel to label, I can make a separate video for that. In fact, I probably will without anyone asking. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna focus on resizing the panel and text on its own. We're just gonna look at the notification itself. So let's go to the label and we'll have something in the center. And we'll say, this is a notif. Okay, awesome. And that is it. There's no code in this one. We're just gonna leave it as is. And now what we're gonna do is go to the script in our global. And the first thing we want to do is preload our thing that we just made. So I'm going to say const variable notif equals preload. And I'm going to preload the notification. And then let's make the function that we want to make, right? So the, the function of ah, variable, there we go, sorry, just constant notif. And then the function will call it global um, notif. And then we'll say, and then we'll pass through text. And that text will be a string usually, um, but I'm not gonna define it as a string. I'm just gonna say text. And now the first thing you might think is, okay, let's just make the the notification. So let's say variable notif, um, yeah, equals, no, actually we'll do notif uh, temp equals uh, notif, dot instantiate and then we just add the child um, we add the child notif temp and then what we can do is we can wait one second so we can say await um, get I think get tree yeah get tree dot create timer we'll say one second and then we're gonna wait for the timeout and then once it does timeout we'll just queue free all right so this will allow us to actually do something. However, we didn't add text. So what we can actually do, furthermore, is say notif.text equals, ooh, we're not gonna say that, um, notif node label dot text. Let me double check that's right, yeah. Um, equals text. So we're just gonna set it equal to this text that we passed through. And to test this, I'm gonna go into the main. I'm gonna make a built on script. And then in the ready function, I'm going to say um, global dot uh, global. Nope. Uh, what is it? Notif. Uh, I'm going to copy this global notification. Uh, and then we're going to pass through. Um, this is a test notification. And then I'm going to play and it pops up and it disappears after one second. So as you can see, the scene is empty. There's nothing here. And 
yeah, so this pops up, that's awesome. But I want you guys to see what happens. So let's let's take a look at the remote. So uh, let's actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna comment this out. Actually, no, I'll comment the Q-free out. So let's comment that out. And in our remote, we can see in the global, it's being added here. So now you might notice there's probably, there's an issue here. If, let's say I kill a monster and there's three things that I wanna pop up. Let's say, okay, I wanna pop up you one, you won the battle, um, the monster dropped this, um, and the monster dropped another object, right? So you, you wanna send three different notifications and you want them to queue up in, behind each other essentially, right? So what we can say or do is basically, this is test notification three, two, and one. So when I play, it'll only pop up the third one because what happened is they all popped up here at the same time, right? And you can see one, two, three. And even if I take this out and I say, okay, I'm gonna wait three seconds and then time out or queue, free, they'll all disappear at the same time. So this is an issue. So how can we kind of queue them up together to kind of wait before adding it? So there's a different, few different ways to do this. Um, I decided to opt in for the stupid way, as always, um, the dumbest way possible and something that's probably not efficient. But uh, I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, the way I do this is, okay, let's comment this out again. I want you to think about in the remote, in the global, we have, this is a node. It's not local, but it is a node and it contains children. So what we can do is we can check for those children. We can say, okay, while get child count is not equal to zero. Ooh, not equal zero out there. There we go. Then um, what we'll do is we'll actually await get, I'll just copy it. There we go. And we're not gonna wait too long. We're actually only gonna wait 0.1 seconds. The reason is because basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first, the first thing I'm gonna do when I call this notification is I'm gonna check for any children. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask the code, are there any children or are there, are there any notifications that already exist? If there is, then I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna add it yet. I'm just gonna wait and then keep waiting until that child does not exist anymore, right? Because, and that will happen because in that other previous notification, let's say, there's a queue free. And once it does queue free, that means the child count will end up being zero and then we'll be able to exit this while loop. And then we'll just go down here, right? Um, another way we can kind of double check for this and not get an error is just say double, uh, if child count equals zero, then continue. Okay. Um, in fact, I think that this should work without that. So let's actually test it. If it doesn't, then um, yeah, let's uncomment this now. Let's make this one second and let's play. So now we see one and we see nothing else. So I do think we actually need that. Let's add it again. One. And I'm getting nothing else. Why is that? Let's see. Boom, boom, boom is not equal zero. What am I doing wrong? Await, wait timer. Okay, let's try one more time, go to remote. Okay, the first one gets added. But for some reason, these guys don't. Interesting. I wonder if it's not stuck in the loop. Uh, loop. Loop, loop, loop until it's gone. So it should have added. That's strange. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out and be right back. Okay, so I just figured out the problem. Um, I'm pretty stupid for this, but the problem was um, when I was queue freeing, I'm actually queue freeing the entire global thing. So um, when we queue free here, we have to actually queue free the notification and not the actual node. So that's why that was happening. Um, but now if I try it, so now I'll see one, two, and three, all in order. And so I can pop, I can send as many notifications as I want. Um, it's not a queue per se, but it will, basically every time I add one notification, it'll wait before the next notification is gone before adding another one. So that's how it works. Um, that's pretty nice. 
And that's it. That's how I usually use my notification system. Um, if you guys enjoyed that this video and learned something and enjoyed me watching me debug that for like a little second, um, like go like the video, um, go subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I have a link in the description for the um, Discord that I have, so definitely join that. I also have a Patreon. I also have Twitch. Um, I don't stream much, but I do. I would appreciate if you guys follow. Uh, I do notice some people following, which is actually quite cool. Um, There's someone called Silver Server T you just followed like a day ago. Um, so it's definitely cool to see you guys follow me on Twitch. Um, I will probably stream every now and then later on once I get more followers. But for now, just go follow me. Um, it'll kind of help me see how many people are interested in actually wanting to see me stream. Um, but yeah, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll probably continue this little series um, in the next video. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.